Hello children. Today I am going to teach you expanded form. Expanded form is a way to write number by showing the values of each digit. Let us see one problem. Come on, read this question children. Write 438 in the expanded form. Look at this question. Listen carefully children. The given number is 438. The given number is 438. We have to find the expanded form for this given number. Okay children. 438 first we have to give each and every digit place name up the top of it from right to left. O for ones, D for tens, H for hundreds. Now see this given number. Look at this number. We have four hundreds. Then see next digit. We have three tens. And eight ones also. Children, now see this step. 400 we have. You know very well how to write 400. Plus 3 tenths. You should write the value of 3 tenths. Okay, children. 3 tenths are 30. 3 tenths are 30. You know very well. 10 table. 3 tenths are 30. Write this value here. Okay. Children, we have 8 ones also. 8 ones are 8. You know very well. 1 table also. 8 ones are 8. Okay, children. Now, see this answer. The answer is in the form of Expanded form. The answer is in the form of expanded form. Expanded form. Uh, this form represents the numbers into hundreds, tens, and ones. It splits the number into hundreds, tens, ones. Okay, children. Look at this given number. The given number is a standard or short form. Standard or short form. Children, let us see now standard form. Children, first let us see one problem. See this problem? Come and read this question. Write the standard uh, short form for 300 plus 7 tens plus 5 ones. Look at this question. This question is a expanded form. We should find standard form for this expanded form. Okay, children. Look at the first term. Look at the first term. The first term is 300. How many hundreds are the 300? That's why I write 300. So that's why 3. You should write 3 in the hundreds column. Look at the second term. You see here, we have seven tens. How many tens are the seven tens? That's why seven. You should write in tens column. At last, you see the last term, five ones we have. Okay, that's why how many ones are the five? That's why write five in the ones column. Now, see this answer. The answer is a standard form. Standard or short form. The 
question is in expanded form. The answer is in standard form. Children, let us see now place value. The place value of a digit is determined by its position in the number. Let us see one problem. Look at this problem. Come and read this question, children. Find the place value of the underlying digit 649. The given number is 649. The underlying digit is 4. The underlying digit is 4. We have to find the place value of the underlying digit. Four. First step is we have to find the place value of each and every digit place name at the top of it from right to left. Ones, ends, and thirds. See now, we have four tens. Okay, children. Four tens. Children, you know very well, four tens are, how much children, four tens are, 40. 40 is the answer, 40 is the place value of the underlying digit 4. Okay, 40 is the place value. 